Greetings, family. This is Bomani Tamba, your tour organizer and tour leader for the journey of a lifetime across these eight beautiful African countries that we have set for you for 2023 and 2024. And also, family, this is our 17th year uh, for our journeys of a lifetime, started in 2006 and now it's 2023. And we're going to set things off with the first country that uh, we traveled to. Uh, when I just did a fact finder mission, and that was Senegal. And that is back in March 18th, 2004. And this is a old DVD. This is, you know, it's so old, it was written, handwritten. Uh, and that was that historical journey. It was about a good four hours and 15 minutes. And here we are, uh, 19 years later. And um, with a nice strong group, it's uh, 16 of us. And I know people think that it's easy to get a whole lot of people to come on any of these journeys. The Ghana journeys have just worked out over the years uh, with all different numbers, uh, all the way up to in the 40s. Uh, but this is a nice solid group and this is the biggest group we have. And this is the second Senegal and the Gambia journey. So we, we kick it off. We're leaving March 30th uh, to April 9th on our return. Uh, so. Uh, we have gotten everyone prepared, ready, and uh, we're working things out with whoever else needs to do anything final. Uh, so that's what we're looking to do uh, as we close close out here and get ready to depart in 11 days. So once we finish our Senegal and the Gambia journey, uh, we break for about a month and a half, and then we head for our Ghana journey of a lifetime. So Ghana, we have uh, similar t-shirts. Uh, the t-shirt's actually green. It's uh, opposite flip colors. It's the green and the the red is uh, switched around. Uh, so that's um, uh, flown with the nights, uh, colors and energy. So uh, both journeys, Senegal and the Gambia and uh, Ghana, everyone has their tickets and all arrangements has been booked and organized. And for anyone else that's maybe interested that's listening, uh, we can uh, get you on those journeys. You just have to be prepared and ready. Now uh, the Ghana visa is something that takes some, a little bit more work, uh, Senegal, uh, you don't need a visa, but a Gambia, we can also get you visa on arrival or get you advanced visa uh, based on the situation last minute. And then in so for Ghana, which uh, you don't need to do visa on arrival or even think about that because you have a good uh, two months. So we can just do things the regular way. And uh, you know, we'll get some feedback from everyone that have done their visa to make sure that the visa process was smooth and uh, simple. So that is the, that's the, our, three, our first three countries. And then for the summer, we're going to do our Rwanda. Uh, that's July 20th to the 30th. Then we're going to uh, connect it to fall for our fourth journey of our lifetime to Tanzania. And that is uh, November 16th to the 27th. And then we're going to close out the year in uh, South Africa. Uh, and that is uh, December 24th to January 4th. So that is uh, six That is um, six journeys altogether. And in the beginning of the year, we're going to set it off with the historical Liberia journey. And that is set for March 29th to uh, April 9th, literally a year from uh, now. Uh, so country number seven. And then we're going to do Ghana again in uh, July for those who just need to get a summer journey in Ghana. And then uh, country number eight, uh, Egypt. And that is for uh, November. Uh, so that is all set and uh, organized on our website, africanforafricans.org. And that is uh, the information I always just want everyone to this. Go check out, uh, especially if you need to get clarity on the itinerary, the overview, the general terms, um, uh, visa information if uh, it's relative to that country. And the most important list on there is the preparation list. So what I want to do is I start with our screen sharing uh, to just show things a, more, a little more visual. So this is our newsletter that uh, we sent out uh, this uh, once a month. And it just give you updates on all of our upcoming conference call and just the highlights of the previous journeys that we have taken. So that is both our last two journeys as we get ready for these next two journeys. So it's a similar group size. Uh, it's uh, 20 of us for Ghana right now and uh, 16 for Senegal and the Gambia. And that's including me and my uh, son, Bomani. So that is our group size. So that's a uh, wonderful, thankful, uh, thanks for everybody who you know got themselves organized and are on the journey. And for anyone else that missed it, uh, 
just uh just be prepared we have the schedules ahead of time so you can always process it and just showing you the real life of this what we do so another you know another africa for africans colorful uh t-shirts uh, so we just design them and rotate the colors and work work different uh energy in so these are our last three journeys and that's you right there kuvi uh, and out of all these journeys a good sister right here is going to be the only one uh, coming back with us out of the last three journeys. So appreciate your sister, Kubi. Thank you for joining us. We're going to make sure this is a memorable moment for you. As I talk about with the conference call dates, once you're on the newsletter, it just get right to the point, show the next set of conference calls that we have. And as, as we go in between countries, we just have a fresh conference call ready just to just make ourselves available and just go through information and just share details. And then most important at the end, uh, just answer all and every questions and go through any information anyone wants us to be clear on. So the Zoom link and all these things, these are things you can just always get yourself ready for and be clear on. So this is our last Senegal and the Gambia journey, and that is us. Um, and, and even recount the numbers again, one, two. So it was 10 of us, uh, so it's uh, four more of us. And what you see is that on what you see right here is our elderly our brother uh, that's our tour guide and uh the brother that has his uh head wrap uh with the medallion uh right by me and that is our tour assistant slash our tour guide uh U uzman and the the first brother our tour guide is abdu so that's our same tour crew and you know we're basically running the same routes with the exception of two new hotels in a, in, a, in a better location for us to move and basically you know enjoy good dining uh, in the evening and uh, be able to just be in a nice, uh, vibrant uh, location. And some more previous uh, journeys. For those who are ready to join us, uh, that's payment link options. And then this is the list of all of our full schedules. And just like on the website, you just click on a link and you just navigate through the details read through it and uh, reach out to me via email, phone call or text if you have any questions, if there's anything you want to dialogue about. On the YouTube uh, link, uh, once you click on YouTube, uh, it's over 3,500 videos and most of those are from just uh, mainly highlights in the countries, conference calls, uh, interviews, uh, just us doing videos here, presentation, and just giving you all as access to this our venture, our connection in Africa from a business investment conference to uh, this presentation on our land and investment conference or community uh, called Black Star Pan-African Community. And then the photos, once you click on uh, my, my Facebook link, you just go to photos and then uh, go to albums. And then you see galleries after galleries from 2006 to now of all the countries we have traveled to and all different uh, photos of this, what we do. So you just clear on the movement. And then even more important, if you want to know what people uh, wear, dress, or how everything look, uh, you know, you have more of a visual. And these are topics that uh, we have gone through over a period of time, and, you know, we don't ever go through all of them at one time. And some more previous uh, journeys, all of the Facebook uh, group pages, and then all of our historic a gallery of uh, previous tours. And every single last one of these have do are documented and you can see videos relative to these tours on YouTube and definitely more so from 2011 to now when we just create a ridiculous amount of playlists uh, or with a whole lot of those photos of just everything that we're doing from when we leave in here in Georgia to getting on the plane, moving around during the country, uh, in and out of different places, and just uh, showing you our ventures in Africa. And it's an incredible experience uh, that can grow from repatriation to investment to this, you live and doing business or just um, making it a, a location that you just want to enjoy a wonderful getaway. So that is our newsletter. And just wanted to just uh, go through it, uh, just to share what's uh, in the information that's sent. And it's just a whole lot of link, a lot of details. So now on our website, um, always got the, if you're, on the, if you're on your phone or a tablet, you won't see the MP3 player or the slideshow. It's just uh, this technology that's worked uh, mainly for 
desktops and um, laptops. Or, and so I always recommend everyone to uh, check out the information we have on the left. I do have the Africa tour books. I'm going to be working on updating the uh, Senegal and the Gambia one and the uh, Ghana version. Uh, that way we have these tour books ready to go. Or, and things are just more, you know, you have something in your hand physically with the schedule and so on. So working on that and uh, newsletter, that's the list of all newsletter. And if anyone want to join the mailing list, And then further down, all you see is just the list of all the tours that we talk about with the links. And then when you go to the, the main part of the website on the front page or the main page, then you see all of the relative links also. So everything is just click and read. Uh, so what we can start off with is uh, just a quick overview of the Senegal and the Gambia tour details. So that's your overview, your general terms, your itinerary, your visa requirements, improving your immune system, and the tour preparation list. All right, so the first article on there, and this is relative and relevant to every single tour that we have. Uh, the tour overview is a part of all of the uh, tour information. It's a quick read, especially for those that don't wanna read anything else. You can just look at this, at least this will just give you uh, uh, the cost, what's included and what's not included and the highlights of what we're gonna be doing. But I uh, definitely recommend you reading every single article and all the details and process everything. All right, so uh, Senegal and the Gambia Roots Tour, April 30th to, excuse me, I need to fix that, uh, March 30th to April 30th. All right, so that is our tour package details. We're gonna be flying from JFK, New York, and those who need a connection flights, we worked it in the uh, tour package uh, price. And then for those who already have their flight accommodations, uh, that's package number two. And then for single supplement, uh, that is the additional option if you want a single room uh, by yourself. So that's the standard and the numbers and things may vary from tour package to tour package, but that is the uh, direct uh, detail information. Uh, what's included, and this is um, all the tour packages that we have as far as uh, what's included. Thing scrolls to. All right, so certified English speaking tour guide. So all of our tour guides there um, for our journeys coming up, uh, especially when we talk about Senegal and the Gambia. Uh, Senegal is many a French speaking country, so our tour guides are fluent in English and they'll be with us uh, the whole time to get us in and out of places and make sure everything is clear. And then when we go to the museums and everything is in French, then they'll translate for us. Uh, so that's the direct significance of that situation. That way, the people that you're dealing with speak the language that you speak, uh, direct accommodations. A round trip by bus from Senegal to the Gambia. So once we finish uh, in Senegal for the uh, four days, we're gonna drive to the Gambia. That's about a five hour ride. Uh, go to uh, Senegal and the Gambia border. And then we're gonna end up in B Banjul. Then we're gonna do the three, uh, the four day that we have there, the first day we just relax and kick back, enjoy the resort, uh, swimming, relaxing. And then we just have a nice uh, welcome dinner in the Gambia. Now the next three days, uh, uh, what we have is a city tour. Um, uh, that's Banjul and the surrounding areas. Uh, another day we have a boat ride that takes you down the Gambian River uh, from you know, the Banjul Bridge, or, or I should say the Banjul Port. Um, at, a Denton Port at Banjul, and then we're just going to get on a, it's a two, it's a two part, it's a boat with a, a top deck. So you can go up there and relax and it's just going to sail down the Gambia River. Uh, we can organize what we want to do as far as lunch and things like that. That's something that uh, we'll do a little bit before we uh, uh, travel or when we get there, we'll just uh, uh, work those things out. Uh, so it's, uh, it has a bathroom, it has a kitchen, and it has this nice uh, deck space, and you just sail in and just enjoy uh, the journey. So got highlights of that and everything that we did in Senegal and Gambia from the last journey two years ago. Uh, then the uh, third part of our actual tour day there in uh, the Gambia is uh, we're gonna meet uh, a group of uh, uh, Africans uh, from the diaspora who repatriated or a group of our, our brothers from the diaspora that lived there in the Gambia. So that's gonna be a nice little social energy for dinner. 
And uh, the good thing about it, uh, where we are in the Senate Gambia era, that would be perfect to just set up something nice and social. That'll be convenient for everyone. All right, so we have uh, three to four star um, hotels for Senegal and Gambia uh, to give you a nice uh, accommodation. So we're going to be staying in the Al Mahdi's area. So that's close to um, all the beach resorts, nice uh, dining, and it's a good social area. And then give us good access to make our way around as we need to just do our tour operation. Uh, so uh, that's the uh, Gambia more in the back end. Uh, but just wanted to explain uh, those are four days. And then um, the last day we'll literally be coming back um, and we're gonna be overnight in, in Senegal, close to the airport and just have our farewell dinner at a beach resort and just kind of relax. So that's the Gambia. Uh, and uh, Senegal is uh, you know, it's, uh, you know, simple um, energy uh, that we have. It's uh, uh, three days uh, where you just, uh, the first day when we get there, we're gonna just add the Renaissance monument. Uh, we can just, after lunch, we can just, uh, that's in the area so we can just, um, just take our time and just explore that operation. It's a walking tour. So we walk up to the top, go up to the actual museum itself inside the, the African Renaissance uh, monument and uh, go all the way up to the top, enjoy the museum tour. Uh, so that's a nice afternoon tour. The next three days in Senegal, it's, um, it's a Gori Island full day tour, uh, Pink Lake, another full day, and then our city tour. Uh, so the itinerary is just broken up to where, you know, you have a nice active schedule, schedule but uh, not too much because uh, once we leave out about nine o'clock, we can come back usually about uh, four o'clock and then just enjoy the evening. So for those who want to volunteer to do uh, exercise or meditation, uh, we're just always looking for volunteers. If not, you can just come out in the morning time when it's by the pool or so on, stretch, meditate, just exercise, uh, get your you know, strength and energy uh, organized. And uh, these uh, journeys includes uh, all entrance and access to all sites and activities. So. It's a full all-inclusive uh, journey with exception of what's below. Not included is our uh, lunch. So we'll take you to a nice location so you can just order the lunch you want. If you want more traditional food or whatever, you can have that option. And also while we're both in uh, Senegal and Gambia for dinner, uh, at least three days, I'm gonna just find, uh, you know, find some nice options of restaurants uh, based on also our recommendations and what we have ex experienced. And then we're just gonna uh, go out to eat and just order what you want, and we just uh, enjoy a nice social time out. Uh, uh, so no lunch included. Then our group tips is $100, and uh, that's per person or per adult. And then what we do is just uh, spread it around and take care of everyone that's uh, working with us, whether it's from breakfast, lunch, dinner, hotel accommodations, uh, activities, uh, tour staff, crew, driver, and so on. And all the uh, tour package uh, includes uh, everything that you see down here. It's Senegal for five days. And these are the things I talk about. And this is just more in details as far as the full tour itself. Uh, so I'll talk about Gori Island, uh, the city tour. Uh, we have a business and dialogue networking, which we work towards the end of uh, Senegal. Uh, we're going to take you throughout the different markets. Uh, pass through uh, the Grand Mosque is uh, incredible. Uh, it's just, you know, so we just drive around it. Uh, Sheikh Antadia University of Dakar, we drive through the actual university and just do a, a short tour. Uh, Independence Square, so we just make our way around there doing a city tour and just uh, show you the highlights of Independence Square. Uh, talk about African Renaissance Monument, which is just a big highlight. The African uh, Civilization Museum or the Black Civilization Museum, uh, there it's, uh, everything is really in French. So our tour guides will take time to translate and everything. And that's a nice uh, journey, which we have more time to really just experience this full museum. You can just really do a full day tour just on this museum alone. Uh, Pink Lake, uh, it's always nice, especially when we just get on a four by four and drive around to the different village around the sand dunes by the ocean. Uh, we visit a Fulani village so you can do some shopping there. And then more shopping and more shopping. Yeah and this uh, tropical uh, food, dance and drumming. That's a nice welcome energy. So this is a nice little map of the connection between um, the car and the Gambia. So we're gonna be taking this route and literally this, uh, we're gonna be heading down the coast. And then when we get to Barra, we're gonna uh, put the, the tour bus on, um, you know, the tour bus is gonna be, on the boat and uh, we're getting on the boat also, the big, you know, big boat, a ferry boat. 
and it's going to take us across. So that's the only way we get to the rest of the Gambia. Um, yeah, so, and that's uh, that history is another thing. And uh, we're definitely going to have our tour guides go through the history of that whole split uh, right there where the Gambia is in basically in the middle of uh, uh, Senegal. But uh, I guess when the British negotiated that area, uh, they were mainly focusing on the route of the Gambian River and moving their, you know, their vessels across to do their illegal uh, business and do their dominance military-wise. Uh, so Gambia, four days. And so I know it's, um, I know we'd love to spend more days in each country, but this is one of those things where we can put two countries together and get the best out of both of them. And uh, this really just enjoyed us a fabulous time in the country. So you end up having um, uh, basically about uh, seven tour days when you look at it. Uh, so, but the tour days are not long to where they're going to wear you out. And we always recommend everyone make sure you get good rest and get back up in the morning because um, you know, we usually try to just move out early in the morning between 8.30 to 9 o'clock. So by 8 o'clock, get your breakfast and be ready to roll. Uh, Gambia, uh, we have a nice resort there. That's the Santa Gambia Beach Hotel Resort. Uh, so uh, I have two multiple restaurants, um, nice swimming area, and then it's also right there on the beach. So we'll get uh, plenty of time after our journeys to just come, you know, to when we get in just to relax for the uh, afternoon and the evening and just uh, enjoy paradise. And this is the flow of all of the uh, tour overview that we have. So anyone that's interested in any of these uh, journeys, uh, you know, it's uh, similar information. Uh, so the tour overview just gets you all the details, the clarity, uh, especially dates and information that way you can just make a decision. Now, the next thing I'm going to uh, go to is actually going to be the itinerary. And this is going to be for the uh, Ghana tour coming up. All right, so Ghana Repatriation Investment Tour, May 2023. So similar information, except I have a language translation on here and I have to check the book to see if I, I wanna see if I have a Wallop translation in the book. Uh, for Senegal and uh, Gambia. But as far as Ghana, we have the tree translation. So that's a nice little PDF that can be, you know, and all these things you can download, print, and save to your computer. These are all um, like article files. And that's how their website is developed as a content, uh, content management system just to have all contents of details for your tour so you can just have full access to it all the time. And right below right here is the, um, the banner for our highlighted journey. Now, for the next two years, um, our incredible reconnection journey. So we just build on our energy up to get to that journey. But for now, family, uh, cl click on Ghana Tour Itinerary. Right, so family, this is our Ghana Journey Itinerary. So we depart um, Wednesday, May 24th. And we're going to leave flying out of Atlanta to Accra. So it depends on your situation. You have your connection flight. Uh, if you, you may travel with us uh, from um, Atlanta and you may have a different flight. So some people flight sequence are different, but the flight that's in common is that once we, uh, we get to New York, JFK, we're all flying on Delta Airlines flight number DL695 from JFK directly to Accra, Ghana. So the flight departs at 9.15 p.m. And uh, excuse me, uh, we actually do a meet and greet at 10 o'clock. And then once we do a meet and greet, uh, it's usually two hours before the flight. So the flight departs actually 11.55. So 10 p.m. give everyone more than enough time to get to the airport, get themselves an order, get themselves organized and be right there at the uh, departure gate so we can just uh, introduce each other um, and then just go through all the game plans so we can all be prepared and ready for a wonderful direct journey to uh, Ghana. And for those who are still interested, I'm telling you, um, this, uh, reach out to me so we can get your tickets reserved and locked in. That way you can avoid going to Amsterdam because after a while, I won't have a choice but to get you on an Amsterdam flight and we'll come back and get you, um, you know, a few hours later once we arrive. And that's been a sequence on a few journeys because 
Uh, some people come in at the last minute and you can only do what, do what you can do. And then the option is always to pay for the, the flight that would just have gone up several hundred dollars. You can also pay for the difference if uh, there is still a direct options. Uh, so those are the things to process and just be organized already. The goal is always to get flights out the way no later than two or three months and as early as four to six months that we can just get those things out the way and uh, just focus on the things that you know we need to just do and get ready. All right, so once we arrive in Ghana, we arrived there in Ghana at uh, 2.15, so it should be about an hour before from us uh, just going through um, uh, immigration slash passport control and then getting our luggage. Uh, once we get our luggage, just put everything on your own carry-on cart. If some reason uh, you miss your bags or your bags are not there, then uh, we'll just get you to go file, uh, you know, file a missing bag, and then we'll keep track of it, and then more than likely they'll be able to deliver it the next day to the hotel. Uh, and beyond that, uh, we can always come pick it up if that's um, not the option that they have. So those things have all happened in the past, especially during a busy, crazy December season. So that's kind of one of the reasons why we don't even have a December schedule. There's too much to deal with, uh, too much um, situations um, in that uh, small uh, airport. Um, but nevertheless, they have a whole lot of activities going on. And so this time around, it's a lot more peaceful, not much going on. So even if somebody have a flight delay or they miss a flight or something, rebooking you and changing your flights and fixing those things, which you have to go talk to the Delta uh, ticket counter, I uh, can easily get uh, done and clear up. So definitely advise everyone that's traveling to Ghana, Senegal, and Gami with us to log into Delta.com. Um, if you don't have a Sky Miles, get your Sky Miles because these are long flights and they're worth something in the long run. I've had not, I've had not to pay for a domestic flight in forever. I've always just used my Sky, Sky Miles over the, the last few years. Uh, so that's, you know, that's something that uh, works out. And so once we all go through the process, uh, for those who don't have a COVID-19 vaccination card, I don't know what will change or if anything will still change, but if you have a card, bring it. If you don't, then let's think about this. Make sure that you take a COVID test two days before. Um, make sure you have a COVID test results show negative two days before the actual departure flight from New York. Um, and then when you get to Ghana, uh, you may be subjected to $150 COVID-19 um, rapid test that they charge. So that's um, not always enforced. Um, on the other side, uh, things change so much to where I can't, I can never really keep up with it. Uh, but most of us that travel with me um, have their COVID-19 vaccination card. So that fixes any issues with taking any kind of COVID test going or when you get there. Uh, so we're staying at the um, hotel that we have, um, we have upgraded to since the last journey, uh, MJ Grand Hotel. I'll give you a nice um, luxury hotel in a nice luxury part of East Ogon where everything is basically brand new. Uh, so you just love the beautiful feel from when you leave the airport and then you're driving all the way to the neighborhood. All you're going to see is this beautiful infrastructure, just a beautiful welcome energy into the country. And most people will be very impressed. Uh, not saying that the rest of the country is like that, but this part of the country is incredible. Um, and you'll see a mix between that and then other parts of the country and even to where you see our land. We do our land tour and you see nothing there is developed. and we're just building from the ground up and looking to bring incredible energy to where we can build an incredible town, incredible community, and you know, do something from the ground up where you know, we're the investors of it. Now, unlike a crowd where everything is just ridiculously expensive and you're just going to be priced out. Uh, so when we get there, based on the flow of what, uh, how much other people that we have traveling with us and who we can get on this direct flight and who we can't, um, but if uh, we have some people who won't make it, um, then we'll have the welcome dinner the next day. It's no big deal to change around. We just do something nice and nice and simple and still a simple welcome at uh, MJ Grand where we just have dinner, have some music, uh, basic entertainment, and there's a nice social time out by the pool bar. Uh, so that'll be just a, a nice social also time. So that's the option if we don't do our full welcome dinner. And then the next day, you know, we'll just swap that out. So that's what you see on the schedule. And it's just, it's all flexible. Uh, when we have the four days in Accra, three days in Cape Coast, Elmina, and then the three days in Kumasi, uh, it's just flexibility where if we need to move things around. But the main goal of everything is we get everything done that we have on a itinerary for all of the schedules that we have. All right, so uh, day three, Friday, uh, we're gonna go up to the mountains. And so if you have school supplies, uh, this is one of the places that we bring our school supplies. The other location is uh, One Africa Resort slash uh, the school that's in Elmina. 
Uh, so the school supplies will be uh, split up between two to three different schools. Uh, you can just bring what you want to bring, or we can just collect all the supplies and divide them up and just have them organized to where they're out of your bags. So definitely recommend that, uh, you know, if you have things you want to get rid of, uh, put them in one bag, 50 pound bag, and then put the things you're going to carry for yourself. And then when you offload those things, you have more space in your bags. And while we're up in the mountains, uh, we're going to, uh, Rita Mali have two places. You have Studio One and uh, our foundation. So it's back-to-back -back, um, compounds. So we just passed by there, stop and uh, not going to physically go in there, check it out, and just show you the connection from the African diaspora to the African continent. And once we are come back from Trinity, uh, we're going to head to the uh, Abria Wood Garden Village and also the Botanical Garden. So that's a full tour there in the mountains. And before we even... Um, drive up all the way uh, to Trinity. We're gonna stop off at a location and put in our orders for lunch. So you just be able to select what you want for lunch. And then once we uh, break halfway in between the journey, uh, which is coming back from the Trinity uh, Home Academy, uh, we'll just uh, literally just enjoy our lunch and then uh, just close out on the wood carving village and the botanical garden. If we have a chance to just get the wood carving village in before we go to the botanical, before we go to the actual lunch, then we'll do that. So all these things flow based on this, how things flow and the schedule and how we leave the hotel early on time or if we have any stagnation, uh, but it's all adjustable. And then before we get back to the neighborhood, Istagon, we're gonna drive to the University of uh, Ghana in Legon. Uh, so it's in our neighborhood, uh, just a few minutes away. And then we're just gonna head back to the hotel and then um, have dinner at the hotel or if we you know, find a location that we wanna go eat, eat uh, we'll just have another dinner out there in Accra. Uh, or they're out in the neighborhood. All right, so this is our third, uh, or say our second uh, tour day, and this is a full city tour. So we're gonna be do, uh, so we'll just wear the Africa for Africans t-shirt, and uh, we're just gonna visit all of the historical sites, Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park, uh, Independence Square, the Arts and Culture Center, George Padmore Library, W.E.B. Du Bois uh, uh, Memorial uh, Center, and then we're just gonna break from there and just um, enjoy dinner um, there at the hotel. And then we're gonna have a nice, incredible repatriation investment uh, conference. Um, I've done, I've done a whole lot of these, uh, at least about 20 already from 2006 to now. And they're always a way for networking, connecting uh, different people together. That way, you know, we can just have more people you know, organize themselves together so we, have, we can have literally better experience than African continent. A lot of things is all about networking. A lot of the bad, crazy stuff that you see online is just people, um, you know, making bad decisions along with the craziness that goes on in the country of uh, Ghana and things. So the more we are in sync and on code to look out for each other, the better it is for us to build an energy together in the country with our own people there in the country and um, work with, you know, wherever we need to work with uh, there locally or this um, whatever other groups of people there we, we can connect with to this, you know, build beautiful future operations and opportunities uh, for our children in this uh, the country of Ghana and other parts of Africa. So it's a uh, goal and game plan that's worked for us. I uh, can't speak about other people. You know, uh, a lot of other people seem to be having hard times and struggles and dealing with things, but you know, the uh, movement and operation is strictly this well-organized, like a you know, military unit. And I'm dead serious. This is you know, you know, my earliest studies as a profession, professional, you know, moving in an organized uh, military unit and getting everything that everything done that you need to get done. Now we studied it, aircraft maintenance and aviation and logistics. So, you know, talk about planes, movement, aircraft carriers, you know, making a move and getting it done. So this is journeys is based on experience in this, making these move and experience in this, going around different parts of the world in Africa. Uh, so we put together the best itinerary that, you know, we can put together to compete with anything else out there and give you this journey of a lifetime because uh, we have a lot of other copycats out there. They just copy what you do and just put on Asian and um, rich, fancy white folks resorts and things like that. This journey of a lifetime, you're getting 100% black owned experience. Every place you're going to go to is owned by us as a people. And we're here to do black corporate economics at the highest level. So when you click on the link, these are our establishment of our brothers and sisters, whether they're from Ghana or from uh, here in the, uh, in the Americas. And the last day that we're in Ghana, we're going to head over to Prom Prom, a good brother of mine from California. Jerry Johnson has this incredible African ancestral memorial wall. And they arguably have the most incredible buffet that we have. And that's a lunch buffet. 
And so uh, we're there for, you know, they're usually from about 10 to about three. And then once we come back, you know, I want us to organize ourselves so we can have an incredible pool party right there by the pool bar, right there at MJ, MJ Grand and just leave you just relax, kick back, enjoy, and then be ready to just depart for the next part of the journey, uh, which is uh, day six Monday. We're gonna visit our Black Star Pan-African community, which we have had set up uh, since September, 2019 and did our first visit September, uh, excuse me, December of 2019. So we're coming on to where we're coming up on four years. So this will be like closer to the three and a half year mark uh, or just a little bit over. Uh, so we have uh, done several journeys there on the land and we just shown you what we're building. We take you to our office um, you know, or, you know, or, biz or I should say our business house uh, uh, where, we, where we operate uh, the community uh, which this business house is in another community, but it's across from our land. Uh, so our staff there that usually takes, you know, people who come by, want to see the land, want to know more, uh, take them by the land so they can physically see it. And then, you know, we're right there at the office as we build it up, we'll have it more run as a real estate development office, little by little, it's got to put the elements in it, but you'll be able to go inside, vi visit it, check it out. And then we're going to visit the 15 acres the business district in Jahaji, the 60 acres, and we're also gonna visit uh, the beach um, in the town. So that's a shown case in everyone, that's all the, the possibilities and the vision. All you're gonna do is see there's not but land. And uh, the good thing about that area, it's vested land. So if we need to make a deal with um, a group that wanna bring certain things in, we just get our people together, um, get to the Lands Commission. We work all of this, the paperwork out with the chief, the Lands Commission, the people in charge, um, they're the lands commission who the land, you know, you know it's like a land bank. So those are the things that uh, we've learned based on this experience and feel more comfortable just moving along and bringing more people in to do many things. Uh, so that is been one of our most successful and incredible uh, story. Uh, only the only issues is the delays that you have with paperwork and things like that. But beyond that, uh, we're getting to where we can do things a lot more efficient and it's all based on experience. And before I even did this project, I spent the time from 2006 to learn about how you know all these things work as far as land in Ghana and how you can actually just make things work. Uh, but everything is going to always be based on the contracts you sign, and you know, everything has to be clear with you know from attorneys to courts. Uh, so those are the things that we have. If anyone has ever just want to know more about our Black Star Pan African community, I'm one of the people that believe you just put out all your legal documents, all the things that you have, your clarity of what you're building, what we're doing. And just have it there for anyone who likes to read or wants to read or want more information, you could just process it. Once we are finished there at the Black Star Pan African community, and what we're going to do is just recommend everyone bring pack lunch, or you can just have the, uh, the MJ Grand restaurant. This, you can just have them pack anything for you, whether it's um, a sandwich or you can bring your own snacks or certain things. And then we just have some refreshments on the uh, bus. And that way, when you're in between us moving around uh, from the, the 15 to the 60 acre community, uh, we can just break for a little time and just enjoy our, you know, our lunch on the bus or just enjoy it when you feel like enjoying it. And that would just cut back time on us arranging uh, lunch at a restaurant uh, so we can just focus on uh, this one time opportunity that we have this uh, visit line and just make everything work. So from there, we're gonna head to One Africa Resort. So I always let everyone know One Africa Resort is being real always. It is on the beach. Uh, it doesn't have any fridge, any AC, any hot water. Um, it doesn't have any TVs in the room. Uh, it has fans and it's right there on the ocean. I've stayed here every single and all the 23, this will be the 23rd time I'm staying there on a tour. And I've stayed here after that on other occasions. And I'm literally fine and cool with it. And most people are literally fine and cool with it. The other option is a brand new hotel that we can get you all those things uh, from your fridge to your hot water to um, uh, TV to uh, those things to Wi-Fi network. Because if you're on One Africa, it doesn't have a Wi-Fi, so you have to use your own Wi-Fi. So those things are the situation, but you have to cross the street to come across to One Africa. And all the entertainment, dinner, and activities will be right there in One Africa. So for those who have the, the rooms right there by the beach, you just walk out your room and everything is there. Um, so when you do the welcome energy and you have drumming and dancing, uh, you're more convenient. Uh, so you have to pick your level of convenience that you want. Um, but um, I'm fine with getting anyone over to uh, the Carrick Hotel, which I've also stayed there. Um, it's not my thing because I'm usually at One Africa and I'm doing my, my networking and socializing 
with uh, my good brother Shabazz and the people that we know there. So these are the uh, options that you know I'm running by for those who are listening. Not everyone is on a conference call, so if they don't don't find out or they don't listen to anything, uh, we can always work it out when we get to the country. Because trust me, uh, we'll be going over this again when we're physically in the country. And the roommate list that uh, usually I prepare two months ahead of time is not a problem for me to modify because uh, we do have to have roommate lists two months ahead of time because everything needs to be done two months ahead of time. And then, you know, naturally we can just make adjustments in between that time frame in case an emergency, so someone have a medical emergency and they need to cancel or change schedule or something comes up or, or whatever the situation is, you know, we can just adjust from there on. But at least you have everything in place for two months ahead of time which is respectful to the, all the people that you're dealing business with. And then you already have your ticket. So I'm all of a sudden, I want you to journey with us. These things are organized ahead of time. But just because we do things at last minute, you know, it's only because we have the flexibility and we build business that way because you're going to have people who already a year ahead of time and you're going to have people already a month before the journey and it's all good. I just don't need everybody to do it a month before the journey because you know, two months before the journey, if we don't have enough numbers, that tour is automatically canceled and reschedule for another time. And then we just talk with the individuals that are involved and then we just work it out with them based on what they feel is the best option for them, whether it's their refund or whether it's them going off to another journey. So that's what we did with Senegal and Gambia last time. We didn't have enough people. So some people asked for their refund, got their refund. And then some people asked to be rescheduled back for this journey. So we worked that out, but uh, we're limited on journeys where we only have five people. Yeah. And so we just try to shoot for the bus holds 18 people, so we try to shoot for anywhere from 12 to 18 minimum. All right, so that's the situation. So if, hopefully everybody is clear on that one. Um, and hopefully none of this stuff is too confusing. But if so, just write down some notes. We'll talk about it. Uh, Tuesday, we're going to go to Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeon. So this is where we tell you that we're all white. Um, so whether uh, all white and uh, we're just going to take our time in the morning, enjoy breakfast. And we're gonna have an incredible, intense, uh, literary journey uh, back in time um, at Cape Coast. And you do have another Dungeons Elmina. That's an option if somebody else wanna do that one also, we can always swap that, that with a canopy walk for them individually. Uh, but we focus on Cape Coast and we focus on doing a full presentation. So we may be there for about a good hour and a half, uh, plus moving around at the end and so on. Um, estimated about two hours. Uh, but that's the only thing that we have scheduled for the day beyond just the naming ceremony, which will be later on in the evening. But the afternoon will be open. Uh, so the main thing we also tell everyone is order your, your, your lunch before we leave One Africa. And every day we go out, we just order our lunch. That way when we come back during the lunchtime, our lunch is prepared. It's a busy place and it can get very busy uh, once we leave with people coming in just to just do lunch because they have an incredible restaurant. Uh, so between One Africa and the African Ancestral World, that's where you're going to have uh, two of our most incredible buffets. They just do buffets right, just like how you like it, um, uh, uh, or just like how we like it as far as just in the, you know, from different parts of the Americas and looking to just get a combination of the things we like and then based on how things are seasoned and done in Ghana. So it's just, it, it makes it a unique buffet because some aspects of the people that we have working in, and uh, they're from America, and they're gonna add certain things in. It. And you have Ghanaians, uh, they're working certain things, so it's it makes it a unique um, uh, menu. So can't say enough about the the food options that you're gonna have in all the countries that we have. And as time go along, it's just to get you better dining and better lodging. Our last Saturday, we're in Cape Coast, Elmina. Um, we are going to be going to uh, do our School supplies at Akoma Academy, so that's a nice journey. And then we, once we break, we're gonna come back, get our lunch, and then we're gonna go to Kakum National Park. I have a whole lot of videos on the YouTube page right now dealing with Kakum National Park. And the goal of that is to just get more people interested in coming out. Uh, it's, a, it's a high canopy walk, it's fun, it's adventurous. But if you just wanna stay in a resort, enjoy a more relaxed time, enjoy it. Uh, once we come back from the canopy walk, our goal is to just go down to, uh, go down to Coconut Grove and have a nice little, you know, evening swim and just enjoy the resort for a little bit and then head back to one africa enjoy some entertainment with our last uh, dinner there at uh, one africa resort so once we finish there we're going to be closing out on our next three days so uh, the last african ancestry uh, presentation is that at sinman so that's where our ancestors took their last bat before being auctioned off to the neighboring dun dungeons 
what is Cape Coast or Elmina. So it's a nice spiritual just uh, presentation all the way. Uh, so always just you know want everyone to open their minds and embrace the energy. So in this journey, we wear our Pan-African colors, red, black, green, and gold. If you want to wear the African, the African T-shirt again or something else, um, just um, work it in. It's all good. Uh, so those are the three days I mentioned that we have uh, different colors. Uh, this day, the day when we're the all white at the dungeons and the day when we do the city tour and we wear the Africa for the Africans t-shirt, just making our way around the city and just you know, showing off the colors, the energy, and just it just always stands out. And so once we finish, we're going to head up to the Micklin Hotel in Kumasi and just uh, relax and enjoy a nice, relaxing, uh, comfortable business hotel. And then we're going to spend the next two days out doing a whole lot of shopping and cultural activities, um, Shanti Palace Museum, cultural centers, and we're going to be doing lunch at Ike's Cafe every day in the afternoon. Usually your estimated goal is to get there by about 12.30. Um, and then we'll finish at about uh, 3 o'clock. Then we head back to the hotel. Nice social gathering, pool parties, uh, and it's social energy that you want to uh, get into. And then we're just going to close out and then... On Sunday, June 4th, we'll just have our farewell dinner. When we get to, we'll get to Accra, way ahead of time before the flight. Enjoy dinner and then take it to the airport. Uh, estimated time always to get you to the airport is 6 o'clock. So that's the floor of our schedule. And that's the floor of uh, every other schedule that we have on our journeys. So I always recommend everyone take their time, read through it. And um, it's as close to everything that we do as possible. We may make one or two adjustments uh, here and there, but that's... Um, those are the itineraries and all of the tours that we have a full itinerary. It's been planned out, worked out and organized based on my experience in all the different countries. And in the partnership that I have with people that I've built relationship on the other side in Africa, working on the part that they need to take care of, which is the, you know, the bus, the tour guide and operation. And in some case, some hotels. And so next thing that I wanna show is the YouTube page. So YouTube page is vibrant, full of videos. Uh, once you're on the main page, you're going to see whatever previous videos I upload. And in this case, all of the canopy walk videos. And then this nice little beach energy there right on New Year's Eve. And then after that, I have a whole lot of New Year's Eve pictures. Hopefully, um, hopefully everybody love it. It's a lot of energy activity. It's right there on One Africa Resort. Um, if we, if we, whenever we're not there in the New Year's, we do a similar thing. But since it's New Year's, you know, bonfires and fireworks. And it's just a nice energy just to get us together. This, and it's just all of us on the resort along with just a whole bunch of other people uh, from Ghana and then some of our friends uh, that's in the neighborhood and area. Uh, multiple playlists. Uh, this is the last of the journeys I've done. Ghana, May, June of last year. Uh, Liberia is just a preparation energy, doing a lot of conference calls, a lot of interviews, uh, a lot of live streams. Um, Tanzania journey, this is the full playlist. And then Ghana, uh, last journey, this is uh, most of the playlists. Gonna add more videos in the next uh, few weeks. And then um, two years before in 2020 and uh, last year in 2021, these are all of the journeys that we have, Tanzania, Senegal, the Gambia, Ghana. Um, then we scroll on to another one right below Black South Pan-African community and then get some more previous Ghana journeys. Another playlist uh, takes you to the South Africa journey, Brazil, Ethiopia, and also my uh, historic Egypt documentary in 2004. And in Black Star, you just get all the highlights from everything that we have done on that land. Uh, and a lot of these playlists, it's a whole lot of videos. And the goal is just to keep on adding and building a directory or this uh, catalog or this galleries of this uh, video documentation. And then here's where I put all the conference calls that we do and, and interviews. So it's um, another playlist full of this, a lot of this interviews, even when you go back several years. Uh, so more and more documentation. And Facebook, as I talk about, uh, once you're on my uh, Facebook page, just click on photos. And then you're going to click on albums. And this is all the historical albums that we have. And I'm still adding to the December and the Tanzania, uh, uh, November 2022 photo galleries. So this got a lot of photos to share, but it just shows a true flow of this us moving around and in every aspect of everything that we do. So we got your documentation covered via videos, via photos, and uh, via this direct documentation based on articles and written information. So Enhance, uh, this is all of the information just to get you clear, ready, prepared for the journey of a lifetime. And 
as you scroll down this countries after countries, and as you can see, it's just us. It's just us as a people. Enjoy an incredible experience across Africa as we build an incredible bridge of future business investment, repatriation, and just a whole bunch of nation building efforts. All right, and some beautiful photos again. So family, let me stop screen sharing and um, I can go into a lot more information, uh, but that is uh, the majority of it. And just wanna open things up for our questions and just uh, wanna talk more about the current journey that we're going on uh, for Senegal and Gambia and Ghana. So the line is open family. All you have to do is unmute yourself and um, just um, give your name, where you're calling from your question and what journey you're going on. All right, so family line is open and beyond that, um, I can always share a whole lot more. So let me know if when anyone have any questions and I'll just uh, stop and answer the uh, question. And then I'll look through the our website to see if there's anything else I need to go through. All right, yes, so everybody seems very quiet. So maybe everybody's prepared and everybody's ready and no one has any questions. All right, so a few people said you're on. All right, so I got a bunch of people on, so family. All right, Akubi, can you unmute yourself? Let me see if this works for you. You don't have to have video on if you don't want to, but I uh, should be able to unmute your audio. Right, so you're set for unmute. And another thing that I have is Instagram, which I'll be working to put more photos on. And it's uh, I just usually try to find the best of what we have to show on Instagram. Remember family, line is still open. So while I'm even going through some more things, just uh, unmute yourself and uh, get my attention and then let me get your question. Let's go to a few more information. So these last few uh, Instagram posts are just um, postcards of our Africa tour schedules and technology service and business. And all of this is part of our Black Star Pan-African Community Energy uh, at the uh, Technical and Business uh, Center and the Community Center. All right, uh, someone line is open. Bumani, uh, regarding the alternative hotel to the One Africa Resort, do people usually choose that hotel or do most people stay there? I, I, I only have 10 rooms at One Africa because so someone has to stay there. I see. So I just trying to let people know the reality of the situations and they can just choose as, they, as it works for them. Okay, and so if we want the one across the street and they're comparable, I would imagine in every, well, one has hot water and other stuff. No, it's, it's a brand new, brand new, beautiful hotel. Mm. And how do you, and what do we have to do to get in that one? No, you just send me a message via text on WhatsApp. And okay. then I'll just, as I'm working in the schedule, I'm just putting people in different rooms. What's the name of the hotel? It's called Carrick Hotel. Spell that. K A R I C K. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Absolutely. And then, if anything, you can always process on the you know, the website. I don't have a link for it, but I do have the de details there along with One Africa. Okay. Okay. No, I'll I'll just send you something on WhatsApp. Right, perfect. And you can just uh, Google search Carrick Hotel, and then you can see the pictures and other things and uh, on the hotel. But okay. uh, what we do uh, as far as one Africa, uh, if no one chooses to uh, go over to Carrick Hotel, we just have to base things on those who made a commitment first. So I have everything in order based on the people who committed early. And that's why I'm always telling people come in last that those are some of the options that we have to adjust for them. <laughs> so even though one Africa doesn't have certain things, people prefer to stay there. It's 
you walk out your room, you're in paradise. You look, the, the coconut trees are right there. You walk right to your breakfast area. You walk right down to you know the beach area and so on. So it's something that people have to really think about. Uh, but and if it doesn't work one way, it works the other way, which is um, based on the flow of this, who committed earlier and who didn't. Okay. Well, my, hi, Cynthia. Uh, um, really, Cynthia. How are you? So um, I'm, I'm, I'm on a hotel kick too. Um, okay. So I'm just trying to figure out, and, it sounds beautiful to be able to walk out but and while you're at that, um, while you're at that, Cynthia, all that stuff for this physical. While you're at that, I'm gonna pop up Carrick, Carrick Hotel while you're talking, and this, uh, and then okay, we, that, that way people can see a visual also. Well, you know, I'm just thinking about the weather. Whether it's gonna be, you know, can you talk a little bit about the weather? And you know, because sometimes that's a, a deciding factor of whether or not I would like to stay in the hotel with the air, air conditioning oh, versus- Oh, it's definitely not hot. It's uh, more closer to the cool and the uh, rainy season. So and the rainy you season. experience some hot parts of the country. But if you're a person mm -hmm. who just like AC and you have to have it, uh, you have three hotels with AC and that's the uh, third hotel uh, mm -hmm. with uh, AC, but unfortunately one Africa just don't have it. So also the other thing too, in terms of security, if you're- um, going to be staying in the room by yourself. How does that work with being next to the beach in the open? I mean, could you talk a little bit about the security of the hotel? Yeah, we have people with us the whole time and then they have security there the whole time. Mm -hmm. They're in a more of a community. So okay. it's, um, the people from there, you know, there is there people in the village and the town in the community. There's a very this close, close, uh, close niche uh, area. Even when we're doing a New Year's party, you just see different people. But the main thing I tell everybody this, and this is being real to everybody, uh, just lock your door because I, I, you know, they don't want you to leave your door open and next you know somebody sneaking behind you while you're walking to go get you know go get a you know soda or something, even though everything is right there. Uh, so that's the only thing that you know I advise everyone to make sure they do um, every occasion lock your door and keep your keys in your pocket. And uh, beyond that. Um, that's the only environment that we'll be in that's more of an open uh, environment on a resort. Just one more question too, then something that's been on my mind um, mm -hmm. in terms of having access to bottled water, possibly bottled wine. How does the beverage work? And um, eating the food sounds wonderful, but should I be concerned about eating certain types of food um, could you talk a little bit about that in terms of beverage and food? No, I mean, I don't, we go into restaurants and places that we eat all the time. So as I mentioned with uh, most of the dinners would be certain buffet with the things that individuals eat. So there's something to select what they eat, whether it's their fish, their chicken and the other side menus. And then when you go to lunch, you just order the things that you're used to ordering. And if you are interested in something that you're not clear on, just um, myself, the tour guides will be there. And they'll explain it to you. But um, the only thing I just usually recommend is this. Just be wary of this people and eating street food. Like, you know, we do have one popular YouTube where you just, uh, they just, or popular people on YouTube that's always just out there about street food and stuff. My stomach, I don't have an iron stomach. Um, and um, I can't eat all these kind of different things. Uh, so definitely just advise every one of us to just think about just eating the things that you're used to eating. and But understand that it's still Ghanaian food because... You know, all these food are served, served all over the place. It's just the spices and the seasoning. Uh, mm. So if you not count those things, we can also explain those things immediately and in that environment or do it before we even get to the restaurant. And then oh, that way you can also ask questions about the restaurant and certain food because this would also be a place that we have already gone to. Okay, thank you. Uh, uh, definitely. And I'm just trying to find some stuff on Carico. There, there we go, all images. This actually is not... So uh, let me uh, get the uh, screen sharing going. All right, so this, all right, so this is some old pictures. I'm trying to get, all right, uh, I don't know what the color like that, but uh, it's a small hotel and this big yard space and it's literally this, the only thing that separates this in one Africa is our uh, main street. Uh, so we have security who walk you back and forth and then their security also at the hotel will escort you across the street. 
you know, that way if you don't need to go across, you know, someone has another eye and they say, you're clear based on this, them this moving around there. And, um, and what I usually do in this case, I usually leave our tour guide over there. So our tour guide will coordinate everything and make sure that you're good over there. But the people are gonna stay over there because we don't have room for our tour guide at One Africa. We just have 10 rooms for uh, guests. All right, let me see if I can. So very modern, um, everything there when I was there, I want to say I was there for one night in 20, 2019. And then I usually go back over there uh, when, I, when, I, when we take people over. So this is the better as far as look and quality of hotel, other situations when Africa does have all those other things. So I've had you know, different people feel different ways about this. So just want to give everyone a chance to process that. All right. Um, that's the only issue that's trying to find some better pictures. Oh. I mean, let me close that out um, and leave that one alone. And let's see some, maybe this has some more. You know, I have no idea why some people don't put more time and energy uploading certain things to the hotel. And they'll probably do a lot better because it's actually real nice there. So not, not much of anything, but that's the hotel right there, family, Carrick Hotel. So you may be able to find some more pictures uh, beyond what I've shown you. And I got some photos also. And what about One Africa? Do you have photos of, of that particular hotel, Pamani? Uh, yes, I'll just do, the quickest thing I'll do is just try One Africa uh, Resort. Uh, their website has photos and most of the photos that we have is gonna be in the galleries of the uh, tours. And then you're gonna have also a bunch of relative videos that show you the whole resort. And then also mm -hmm. photos of, uh, videos of uh, in my room. Okay. Uh, let me. And this is not, um, they should be able to pick up some of our images that we have shot, but that's, uh, what is going on? Wow. I don't know much pictures on the website, but if not, then I'll, uh, let's, So this is their website, oneafricaghana.org. So no, I didn't think that they would, a lot of, this is an old picture of the gazebo right there, but this is the, the view you get once you look from the uh, restaurant. I want to find old photos sitting down. All right, so not a lot of photos uh, here. images here we go all right so these are all pictures of one africa resort let me go from one to the next and so these are what the homes are uh, look like in a traditional look That's not it. That's not it right there. But this is one of the homes. Uh, this us out in the elements, uh, the beach area, and that's the uh, by the kitchen and the dining area. Uh, welcome energy. And so what I can also do is switch over here and. Let me see where would I have a video. So let me just look at one of these, look at this last journey that I did. 
I want to say I have some videos in there in this gallery. Yes. Right. Uh, this may not give you the video of the room inside. Let me check to see if I show inside. All right, not on this video. But this actually showed the resort itself. People, many time by here, family. We're live on Revolutionary. All right, so this. So yeah, all of us, yes, all of these videos that show you the, the elements of the area. All right, let me go back. Greens family, Bomani Tamba here, live on Revolutionary Cam, and we are here back at One Africa Resort. So this is my Marcus Garvey chalet and we are getting ready for our first tour day here in Elmina and this is a beautiful view of all of our rooms here and once you get out of your room all you're looking at is tropical paradise When I mean tropical paradise, literally tropical paradise. And you can feel the nice ocean breeze. Mr. Bomani, Yao, you guys ready? Yeah, Y'all ready? So family, we are getting ready to head to the Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeons. Just this is the children of one Africa and they run around, they are excited. <laughs> All right, they almost ran right into me. Can you believe that? I got it first. <laughs> what y'all playing? Tag. Y'all playing see. tag? Hide One. and seek. There's not too many places you can hide here. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. And that is the mass of hide and seek right there. So once you come out to your room, you have the nice open dining area. And it's also always, always tropical beauty, tropical paradise. Yes, is the bus ready to take us? Yes. Yes, it's ready. The bus is ready? It's ready. Right, so the main thing that we always want to make sure we do is that anyone who wants lunch already did yeah. their lunch. Yeah, yeah, some people are what that yeah. All right, so family, we pause this one and I uh, got the video with the inside of the room. I'm loading right now and we can just watch this one. One of my last, uh, well, two years ago video. The Greetings family, we're live on Revolutionary Cam. And this is Bomani Tayemba. And I'm here at One Africa Resort. Yes, family, One Africa Resort in Itri Elmina, here in the central region. And this is room number two, Marcus Garvey. And don't like to show views of my messy room. So we got in last night, and uh, we're getting ready to head out in the morning. Uh, right now to the Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeons. 
and then we come back naming ceremony and just another wonderful eventful day so I figured I can do my best to give you a nice clean recording in the room is a little more clean and organized this afternoon but and just uh, show it to you. Let's just check it out inside this beautiful chalet. Wait till you see our outside look. So family, that is one Africa resort. So that's the outside and the inside of uh, the rooms are similar. Some a little bit look a little bit nicer because they're a little newer, but uh, that is the average look. So it's all up to everyone. It's all good. Um, it doesn't matter to me either way. I just want to make sure everyone have accommodations based on how they feel and based on the options that we have, which is uh, those are the two options. Uh, so let me know what uh, everyone uh, anyone thinks. and. Um, And if anyone else have um, another question outside of that, uh, we can just dialogue into that also because I want to go through as much as possible before we close the call. I can't even. Bamani, just up. one final question. Sure. Are all of the conversations on WhatsApp group conversations or? Uh, yes. So when, you, uh, when you're posting on WhatsApp, it's going to tell you, it's going to say Ghana tour. And yeah, then I you see know that. that. So, I just... But let me, let me, let me finish that. So when you, once you see that, you know that it's a group message and everyone in that group can see it. So yeah, if you want to send me a separate message, you can click on my name in that group and then it'll reroute you to a separate message for me directly. Right. You can type in my name in your WhatsApp and send me a message. But yes, all the messages are or groups. posted for everybody that's actively in the group. Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, definitely. All right, uh, Sister Kubi, your line is open. Let me know if you have a question. Or if you want to get on and talk. And just like you see those two videos, um, over the countless amount of times that we travel, we just recording videos. Uh, we may not just get all the ones in the rooms and so on, but uh, we just try to just record as much as possible and share and share. And my goal is to just do more in all of the rooms every time we go just so those are there and everyone can get a visual but um all of them usually have websites except for um this one the carrick and then one africa it's not much on there as far as just uh, pictures and things so that's when you just have to you know google and check out and then many other people have also been there uh to these different hotels so they have their similar videos and things like that so that's what we have family just uh, showcase you a world of documentation so we have a lot of people on the call uh, who else have a question? Uh, let me know before we close out in the uh, next um, few minutes. Right. And uh, earlier we talked about uh, visas. So the visa situation is something where once you talk to me about traveling with us, I send it to you and it's up to you to just read through it and process it. Or if you're just looking at the information on the website, and you just process in information before you talk with me. Uh, it's a similar information, except when I send you an email for visa and have sample information and then just as much support and details as possible to help you, you know, get clear on it. Then I'm here to assist you, you know, throughout the daytime uh, based on this, where you get stuck at. I just want to say, Bomani, that when I was filling out my visa, you were really helpful. This is Cynthia again. And you, if, um, if, if there's anyone online um, that just rely on what Bomani sent, because I sent my, I, I sent it out one week and I got my visa and passport the following week. And that's because Bomani, you were really detailed in how to fill out the application correctly. And also you were testable when I had questions. So thank you. And I think I'd like to share too that because you are very transparent with the expectations and what we should be preparing for, 
that too is, is really detailed and I'm very excited to attend a tour with you. I definitely appreciate you and um, it's just time and experience. So just try to just elevate things to, and then just elevate things as time go along and just uh, be more on top of things as you know, time go along. So appreciate everyone, um, yourself and everyone that just got the email and then, you know, cause we, right now it's not even at the two month mark. Uh, so everybody literally started working on it in the three month mark. And I, I want to say most people got the Ghana visa. So that's good. So appreciate you and everyone else that's following the flow of it. And I'm all telling everyone, just send me a message on WhatsApp uh, or just a text message and so on. And I'll just throughout the day while we're just working with this, try to answer everything based on priority uh, and based on the people who are traveling with us on the, you know, basically the next two journeys. So was, we just try to work on it get them uh, done two, uh, you know, two journeys at a time. So also just happy that everyone have direct flights and everyone feel a lot more comfortable on the uh, movements of flights because that's just more important as the craziness of moving around and losing bags that is more prevalent with airport chaos. So uh, Delta sequence uh, solved all of these problems. Uh, Akuvi, uh, welcome to the call. All right, I guess... Um, you don't want to talk, so so that is that on the uh, visa. Uh, let me know if anyone wants to share anything uh, before we close out. Hi, Bomani. This is Sion and Courtney hey, from Chicago. Courtney. Greetings. I just want to tell you, thank you very much for helping us out with that visa application. Because I was shocked when I got back mine so fast. <laughs> I was like, wow. <laughs> you know, so thank you. And but the thing is, when you pull it out, it's a one year. But when you get the visa, it's a five years. Yeah, the multiple entry gets you anywhere from one to five years, depends on whatever they do. But I'm glad everybody mm -hmm. got uh, literally everyone had, has received five years, so that's a good thing. Yes, which is good. So that's a blessing. And thank you again. Hope to see uh, you yes. pretty soon. Oh yes, absolutely. I'm yeah, I'm trying to make sure you get as many people ready because. Uh, even between now and uh, going to Senegal and back, trying to just add the rest of the people on the journey. Because I'm telling people, I tell people yeah. that people come on last minute. So usually you just get prepared for them by basically getting everybody else out the way. And, uh, yes. and they, they, you know, once they come on the last minute, they just have to go with the flow. Of, you know, because you know, you know, all of us have put the time into being prepared. That's true. That's so true. So yes, uh, we're, almost, we're almost there. <laughs> That's right. Funny thing, I have to get my school supplies. Pretty much set. Uh, yes, and always just open for more and more people and or whoever want to bring school supplies in. And for those who want to, who don't want to do school supplies, you can do financial donations. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. All right, and so family line is open and the scene if there's anything else I may need to play. So as so, since everything is just all there on the online and available for you to click, just take your time and enjoy whatever we have online or what else anyone else have, and just be prepared, be ready, and I'll be on standby. And the quickest way to communicate with me, just send me a WhatsApp message or just call me directly, and um, I will get you ready and prepared. And uh, we'll go over any last minute things that we need to go over, but. Right now, we have enough time to make sure that we have everything in order. So I'll be working on what we're working on in the time being, and we'll keep in touch. So family, once again, this is Bomani Taimba from Africa for Africans, Tours and Investment, uh, getting ready to take you on the journey of a lifetime. So we'll keep in touch and uh, stay tuned as we just keep on sharing and uploading more information. Thank you. Thank you. And absolutely, you're ready. So family, enjoy your night. Uh, take care, and the journey continues. Peace and blessings, yeah. Bamani. Uh, yes, uh, Teresa. So we'll see you there in Senegal and Gambia. I'm, I'm sure you're ready. Yes, absolutely. See you then. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Uh, you take care. Take care.